In this tutorial, I'll talk about how to trigger a job remotely using curl. In last tutorial, I have already explained how to trigger a specific job remotely using by creating authentication token for a particular job. But as part of this tutorial, we'll learn how you can trigger any job instead of a particular job. So we'll use curl to trigger a job inside curl will have a specific user which is used to trigger this job we will make a post call using curl so how we are going to achieve this first we'll create a user that user will be used to trigger job but instead of using password we'll generate a token and we'll use that token in curl and then we'll trigger any job using curl now you must have a question why a token if I have a user, I can use username and password for a particular user and I can trigger job. Yes, you can do it. But let's take example. Any person who doesn't have access wants to trigger these jobs. So what we'll do, we'll give this user and the token to trigger this job. Using that user and token, user won't be able to log in in Jenkins using login screen because we'll give only token, not password. So that's why we use token here. So what is advantage of this approach? So what we'll do, you can trigger first of all any job and because it's a user, so you can control the access level and execution. But in last tutorial, we were executing this remote job as a anonymous access with token. So you can't control the access level and you could trigger only a particular job. So using this approach, you can trigger both kind of job which doesn't have any parameter or job which has parameter. So how you can trigger that? So I'll use a curl. This is simple curl, normal curl command. So what I'm saying curl and uh, this I'm making a post call here. So that will be a post my obviously Jenkins URL job and this will be in the job name, whatever the job I have and the build, right? I'm saying build hyphen hyphen user means either you can use hyphen hyphen user complete or you can use hyphen u it says uh, curl related stuff right and then you will use the user let's say i create a remote user and you'll pass the token here same way if your job has parameters then you will use this build with parameter and the same thing hyphen hyphen user and the remote user and token but if you want to pass some parameters so what you have to do you have to pass using hyphen hyphen data right whatever your parameters are so hyphen hyphen data tech is equal to java again hyphen hyphen data let's say you have number of parameters then again you use the parameter so instead of hyphen hyphen you can use hyphen d as well this is just a curl stuff right so here you can use this thing so let's see how we can do that in a demo so first let's create a user go to this and go to the manage jenkins and you will find a option to create user manage users and then create user so let's say i'm saying remote user so now let's create this user created here i have a user now what i have to do i have to generate a token for this user so go to this user and go to the configure section you will find a option here api tokens so but you will see here you don't find a option to generate token reason being is you have to log in using this user only and then you can create a token so let me go to another browser and log in using this user and generate a token just log in and go to the again i came directly to the configure section and now you will see a option add new token just add a token just name it like remote token and generate and copy this one right copy this token so i will copy this token and let's save it so token has been generated now now let's close this and not for now let's close this and now what I, i'll trigger job 2 job 2 does not have any parameter so what i'll do i'll trigger this job so i'll go to this terminal i'm using mac and what i'll do here let's say curl if you see here curl x post request and i'm passing my path of jenkins and the job job 1 i'll use job 2 here because i need to trigger job 2 so now as soon as i hit this a job should be triggered let's hit that so you don't get any response because that job has been executed successfully if you have any error you can see some response from there if you check here in the background itself here 
you see the job he has been executed just now even if you open this console and you will see the started by remote user the user which i have created now let's see uh, how you can trigger with parameters so you will see here in second i'm executing same command but build with parameters and i'm passing user as i passed in previously and i'm passing the data data i'm saying tech is equal to python and again i'm saying data author is equal to this guy right so because this has two parameters these parameters will be passed so if i hit now you see this has been executed no response and even background you will see here here it has been triggered now right and i can open and let's see the console output you see the trigger by user and values are python and gunjan because i am just printing those values let me show you that so configure and if i show you i'm printing those values right these are my build parameters here in this job right one parameter tech the other parameter is author so i'm passing these parameter as well from the remote trigger now let's understand one thing let me show you how you can't log in using token so let's say i'm using a remote user right instead of password i use token the token i use to trigger job from curl so if i use the token and try to log in you will see no it will not allow to log in reason being that's why we use api token instead of password so using this approach you can trigger any job as per the access level of this remote user i hope you understood if you have any question add your comment thank you